Hey, 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 what's up everyone? What's up? What's up? Ah, as promised, today we will be learning slash taking a look at Mary Rose. All right, and you know, let's just get straight into it, shall we? So the plan is I'm going to look at the command list to familiarize myself with the moves. Then I'm gonna do the combo challenges um, just to see if there's anything of use there. And then we'll go into training mode and go over the usual, usual, right? Let's stay in the October vibe, Halloween. Alright, so I think... Did it skip a move? I think it skipped the first one. Yeah. Alright, so... Um, I don't have anything of note right now, so I'm just gonna go through this. If I find something interesting or something, you know... Uh, if we're talking about, I'll talk about it. Otherwise, I'll just go through it, right? Alright, so this is clearly made for mix-ups. Right, you got the punch option, kick option, and the parry option. Oh, that's different. So, there we go. Another mix-up thing, and this one seems kind of dangerous. Getting somewhere, huh? All right. Ah, oh, this is good. A nice, you know, get out of the way tool. I like that. I like moves like this a lot because it's so good to get away from like an icky wake up situation. Though the recovery seems a little slow, right? She takes a while for her to move again. So it's not as good as other ones, but you know, it definitely creates a distance. We're gonna see a lot of twirlies, aren't we? Mm 
Seems kind of quick. This is a nasty move. I've seen that one in action. Big sit down, and I think this kick is pretty fast. I mean, look at that. Can stay in back turn. All right, the same one from the string. Again, I think it's a really dangerous move. Alright, so with the power blow, um, no backwards movement, which is always, in my opinion, very useful for power blows, if your character moves a little bit like backwards. Interesting. Wow. The stand a little one, not as good. One from the combo, way better. That's a useful one. I've seen that hit me so many times. So forward is position change, backwards is staying the same. All right, no problem. It's in reverse for Kasumi, so that's going to be something to watch out for. So this, okay, it's an offensive old. I, I was thinking that's such a weird animation. 
and the low low offense full that's nice That move is... Right, so the advanced holds are all combos. Look at that. That's a big one. That can be a launcher mid combo for sure. So you can do this move infinitely funny. is a nasty knockdown well not knockdown like a sit down stun oh man that, it's that's that might be guaranteed and of course this one very popular very annoying complete it now the point is not that I remember everything from the get-go the point is I've seen the moves I kind of have an idea what's going on and you know we'll take it from there the next combo challenge now I know it says 100% complete because somewhere in the past I probably did it but remember the save file for this game has been carried over from literally launch on PS3 so now, there's a lot of things I might have done in this game that I just don't remember I might have gone through it and be like yeah whatever and then never looked at it again it could be years ago so for me, it's as if we're starting starting back at zero. Yeah, those are, are... I saw that in the command list as well. Both these moves, like this one and this one, they are dangerous. Right? This is a sit down. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say like a 6P or something. Or 6S. 
6k, there's probably a guaranteed move from there. Same with this one, there's gotta be something guaranteed from it. Yeah, something like that, who knows. We'll see in training mode later. What? So, <laughs> so I did instead of up people's K, I did down people's K. It's literally the same thing, right? Yet it doesn't count. It still doesn't count. That was weird. Combo? Damn. Alright, so the timing I need to get used to for this move. This is a character, especially if the punch, punch, punch in combos is gonna be a thing, we're gonna have to free cancel a lot. Oh wow. Straight into critical burst, and if it is guaranteed after the sit down, that will be insane. will be insane. That's such an easy combo. Hold on. Okay. So they're all gonna be different oh boy this is gonna be a doozy and i don't even know if these are you know actually usable combos That's that might be that might be a good ender in general combos. I mean like like we always say, right? The, the combo challenge in this game, don't believe everything you see here. A lot of these combos aren't like you know quote unquote real combos. But there's definitely elements in it that would work 
for real. There we go. There we go. And this looks like a, a, a realistic combo, right? Can I go back? I want to see that one again. Yeah, because this is probably guaranteed the launcher. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, so the button direction changes. I forgot about that. Okay, you got quite a bit of time to do that because I didn't do it the fastest I could. It still worked, so... Oh no, I hate these combos. Like the ones that are... like timing based. So it's not too bad. There we go. So, the cool thing about Mary Rose so far is, like, look at this, it takes like two moves to make it to Critical Burst. I like that. Hold on. Right, okay. So maybe we're we're either too fast or too slow. So I think we're too fast actually. Now nah, it's too slow. So it kind of looks like a shitty combo to me. Oh my god. 
actually not as easy as it looks. Mm, that last one. Now this again. Finally. Okay, so tag combos. I'm not a big fan of tag combos because who really ever uses these? Together with Helena. Do they have like a lore wise? We can do this. I mean, I've clearly done it before, so... Okay, too fast. Okay, that went easier than expected. hesitated a little bit and that made me drop it at the end Dude, I don't know why I keep pressing the wrong button sometimes when you're doing combos your brain just doesn't work there we go all right so that was that I think the most interesting ones are actually the advanced hold um, right like this one these guys are the most interesting ones 
And from the looks of it, these look like pretty good combos. You know, from a first glance. Alright, let me check. I have some notes here, some combos. And I think these are amongst them. So I'm gonna look and see if I have the same ones. I even have more. Um, yeah, these only show like like against a high and a low punch, but apparently you have a, a low and high advanced kick as well. Uh, so let's see, we have six, seven, eight. AK PvP, yeah, that's the same one as I have here. We have 64H. AK 6 PvP, yeah, that's the same one. Okay, so they're pretty accurate so far. Um, 6 1, 6. Now I have a different one for. Uh, for this one, so I'm gonna try and see how much damage it does and compare to the damage I have. Can I see the damage here? I can try this one 6k, 4pp. Okay. Okay, it's real one timing wise. Ooh, no, no, that's not it. Okay, so we're probably not gonna... He said one that it is definitely stronger. But that's the better one. And this one is 46H. Alright, I got a different one as well. Oh, so mine is very easy. Huh, it might be close, it might be close. Yo, what's up Jab? How are you doing man? Yeah, let's stay in the Halloween spirit of things. Ooh, full Halloween. I'm doing great. Learning Mary Rose. Seeing what she's all about. Um, so... Alright, I've never seen that one before. Alright, so I needed to check if... Mid kick. Which one does the most damage? So I need my details. Hold on. No, 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 no. it's not mid kick we needed to check. 
Maybe low punch then? No? Huh. That's weird. Is it the same laugh? It could be, right? It's probably... That's like the, the behind the scenes shit. There's a lot of sound effects they just get from like uh, these sound libraries, you know? So there's a big chance that they actually pick the same one. And they went to Google, funny Halloween laugh. Sound effect. Um, I was looking at something. Oh, we need to go back. I already forgot. We need to check something, but I already forgot. The combo. Oh, pack, kick, hold. All right, no problem. Let's go full Halloween. Does she have a Halloween costume? And I don't even know which ones. Is this Halloween? This one Halloween? I don't know. Oh, this, this is Halloween for sure. So we need mid kick. <laughs> Camera switch? That's gonna be annoying. Sometimes it switches camera, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so that's 78. Ooh, this one's way stronger. Playing Tekken, yeah. I don't know about Tekken anymore. Uh, I'm kind of like very into learning DOA properly. And even if it weren't for DOA, I'd probably be waiting for Soul Calibur. So Tekken is gonna take a little bit of a back burner position for me. Yeah, so I don't need to learn that combo because first of all, this one is stronger. And it also doesn't involve the cameraman. It's, it's the same for either way, so... We want to find out some safe moves. We want to find out some pokes.
All right, minus five, pretty good. 12 frame startup. It's high though, so dangerous. But of course, you can do my kick if they start crouching. Minus six, it's throw punishable, but I mean, they, they have to be quick on their feet. Ah, that's not bad. The, the problem is, if they just block low, they block the whole thing. They don't need to stand up. But there's a mix-up, of course. Oh, that's minus four only? Not bad. Okay, so we don't want to finish that string. You know, you might want to do it to troll your opponent if you're if you've been doing this the whole match. You know, just throwing out one might be fun. That's always an option, right? Some moves you can go into Ooh, the guard break is kind of bad. Minus 21. Ew. That's not what you want from a guard break. And so many Mary Rope players spam that move. Okay, so these kicks are dangerous and I think they're they're great for combos but they're probably not as good you know for regular use ha ah, way better for poking 3k look at that minus 6 14 frames bit of range four K yeah four K seems pretty good as well. Sixteen frames are a little slower but uh, minus five to create she walks a little bit forward. I like it. Ooh, 14 frames. Mm. To me, that's a little on the slow side for a 2P, for a little low jab. A little too slow to be like, like top tier good, right? It's still useful, right? But you need to be mindful. You need to think about when to use it. With some characters who have a fast um, low jab, you can literally throw that out to annoy your opponent the whole time
Okay, so you have six. No, four PK. It also seems safe. And it is 16 frames. Same as the kick. So there's not much difference between doing this or just this. Um, you know, which is a good thing. Because it means more options for the same situation. Okay, 14 frames. 8. Mm. And too bad all her moves from the roll. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm kinda not safe. Right? Minus eight. Back turn. Yeah, so 12 frames back turn seems to be the fastest. Minus 8, 12 frames. Mm. I'm not gonna win that one. So definitely do the throw a lot to make him scared. Um, or, you know, to, to make him do something. So when it hits. You do get a juicy, juice knockdown. Twenty frames. <laughs> Minus four. Man, that's really good. But again, it's it's a low into high. If someone just crouches the whole way through, they gotcha. And she's actually like, I mean, she has has good safe moves, like you know, quick jabs, stupid shit like this, right? That's not safe, but you know, 
in between the safe moves. She has like moves like like this, which you know technically aren't safe. To probably really safe. You know, minus seven, but look at the pushback. It's gonna be hard to uh, to punish. Fifteen frames, not bad. Oh my god, this kick is 12 frames. Oh my god, that is... Uh, that is nasty. Because if you hit this, you get a knockdown. That's insane. But of course it is unsafe if you follow through, but oh, nice juicy delay. Okay, okay, I see what's happening here. So you can technically hit confirm, but there's too much time between the stun of the first kick and the second one so if you delay it no knockdown so you need to commit for the knockdown but minus nine but i think it's really key look at this town Um, what was I saying? So yeah, um, I think with a lot of moves like this, right? What you want to do is condition your opponent with like other save moves. Get him to think that you're doing nothing but save moves. Yeah, if you throw one of these or one of these in between unless your opponent really knows Mary Rose really knows the frames they're gonna have a hard time getting in between Oof, minus 12 man this move seems so shitty that seems so shitty I've not seen a single combo use it it's unsafe as hell. What the hell does it do on hit? Lift stun. So that's probably a good move for like if you get an initial hit, something like this, right? Ah, but then it launches.
Okay, so never do that move in combos. Okay, so that works. Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm not talking too much. I'm just trying to absorb uh, the information that I'm getting right now. I think in general, she's fairly safe to play as. I think if you know your safe basic moves, I think this one is gonna be good. And this one. Because it's a 12 frame startup, safe, that's good. This one's probably not too bad either. Okay, so let's look at some combos and if we can see um, some key moves return and we'll know they're double important, right? If we see some of these moves that have not, like, I can identify moves like this is going to be a big one to start combos, um, this one probably as well. Um, this one and it's you know it's twirly counterparts i think this one's gonna be a good one to get in so let's see i got a little document here with some combos so let's um Yeah, let's see. So it starts off with like really basic filler combos, like easy ones, um, like, uh, let's see again, now, something like that, because according to this guide, the three kicks at the end, these three are guaranteed. Which I can imagine. Is this is a lift up stun and those two kicks stun again and then the last one Back turn ace plus K, back turn 4K, K. All right, so I'd much rather just do this one, way easier uh, for now. 
I definitely need to learn the bigger combos, but for now the easy ones uh, will do, you know? So that's not bad for for that move, I guess. But so far these are like I mean they're combos, right? If you if you hit this move you wanna do this, right? And if you hit this, if you're doing like a stun combo, right? With something like this. You could indeed go for that at some point. I think it will work with any stun combo, really. See? That's basically to say that the follow-up for that in a combo Is that move right? Um, oh my god, you can do twirly after that? I didn't know. Yes, that's a combo. That seems kind of jank. 3 PK. Alright, that's mid high. Okay. 9K. That's a weird one. Whatever. These are not that important anyway. These are more like, you know, if you hit a certain move, some things are guaranteed, right? Little stuff like that. Um, what else do we have here? So yeah, so we can identify that there's a stun here. And it's guaranteed. So until this point, if you hit this and do this, up until then it's guaranteed. And you can launch. Look at that. See, that's a nice little combo. That one isn't... So I want to know, can you... You cannot escape it. Wow. So if you get hit by this one, you are getting launched big time. PP, PP, 6, PK. PP. Oh my god. Okay. 
Okay, so it works. It's just a little tight. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, what else do we got? 3x plus k. Oh, I'm doing it wrong. That's what we want. And then one P. Oh, that's right. All right, I get it. Um, yeah. So we're doing 3h plus k, 6p, 6 is k, 1p, p plus k, and then that fist. Okay. It's escapable though. What? Why didn't it work? Is it stagger capable? What a shitty combo. Or it isn't. Alright, see that's pretty nice. Pretty nice. What else do we have here? 6pk? Which one is that? 3 plus k. AK, 6k. Mm -hmm. We can do better. Here we go. Four PK. Ooh, that's a knockdown. Man, I always say knockdown. I mean sit down. I don't know why knockdown is the word my brain jumps to. And that can be right. <gasps> wow, that works. Okay. Really, that move? Okay. Hey. 
Oh, here's a fun one. Hmm. 6p guaranteed, huh? This combo. He? Ah, so only in close stance. That. Or not only. So, what's the logic there? So sometimes it hits. So, so far what I'm seeing here is if I just hold forward during this move and then press punch while holding forward, it works. If I do kick kick and press forward P, it doesn't always work. See? Okay, that's weird, but whatever. And not too hard to remember. And from this you can do anything, right? That's a big mix-up. The hit, the hit, the hitting of 6P seems to be kind of random though. I can't seem to find a logic to why it sometimes does work and sometimes doesn't. Very weird. Is that not possible? Oh, that's possible, but I kind of want to know what the deal is with. It's not possible, not enough stun. Maybe if they hold. Huh. 
All right, anyway, let's move on. There's a million... So, basically, we need to find options from that move, right? I mean, that one seems way more consistent to me. But it doesn't combo as easy because it puts the threshold kind of far. That might be possible. That one is exact. That's who. Problem is this move is so good we need to know the fine print, right? What is making me miss it so often? you can't follow up oh my god Let's move on, because I'm kind of sticking with the same thing. Ah, not good. That's more like it. So in a combo, probably works better, right?
Hmm. Alright, we'll get to critical burst combos. And you know what? Let's do that now. I think that's like the big problem right now. I need to find out some critical burst combos. Um, so I can, at least in a match, know what moves to use. I mean, I know a little bit, right? I know the safe moves. It seems stuff like this is really powerful. kind of looking for like more launchers because right now we have mid punch option which is the same as critical burst so that's like one option for your opponent and there's this one that seems to be a very common launcher as well so if possible I'd like a mid kick launcher somewhere But it seems to be always either mid punch or uh, high kick, even in my combo guide. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, so let's see what we got. 6kk. That is so good. That is insanely good. So what is the frames on this? Minus that. See, that's the thing, right? The good moves for combos. Those are never gonna be safe. Usually they're not. So that makes this character really a game of, you know, busting out save moves until, you know, they might not expect one of these. Okay, okay, okay. So, 4k, 4pp, okay, right, right. <laughs> really? That, that's her wall. Does she have? Oh, here next to wall. Uh... 
doesn't seem to do anything. Maybe you need like a, a large wall. Maybe she runs up it or something. We can try here. Doesn't that count as well? Maybe this will count. Does this stage have like any full walls? Where were we? 6kk P. Beautiful. 9kk. Huh? 9k4 back to P. What? Wow. Again. That's so fast. That's insane. Wow. The launcher A? Huh. Why is it different though? Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I know we're in the Halloween mood, but I'm gonna need for now an open stage. So we can compare damage. Right? Because they're doing different enders here uh, for two combos, even though I think both of them should work just fine. Hold on. Whoops. I'm, I'm, um, I'm mixing things in my head. I've been in training mode too long. Right there, so that's 104. What did we do before? With the kick, right? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Right, me. Go through the motion. So it's one damage difference. So, you know, might as well do the other one, right? I mean, it's only one damage, but it's a damage, right? Ah, but the other one seems to keep him way higher, so it's more leeway for sure. So that one's probably better, it's just safer, right? Especially if you think like your stages with slopes, this one might just work while the other one might just not work. So I'm gonna stick to the other one. Yeah, look at that, beautiful. 
Um, King King King. And that's a thing, unbelievable. Look at that. Hmm. 6k. That doesn't work. Might be counter hitting. Even then, it doesn't work. Okay. But then again, the guide I have might be based on a little older version, so if they changed something about this move, then it won't work. It's okay, so that just won't work. Alright, no problem. Let's see what they were trying here. To do something that goes into this, into this, into this. So we can replace 6k with 4k maybe? There we go. Maybe it, it might have been 4k all along. Oh, it's already into... Um... Okay... Um... Yeah, so that's that. Uh, from back turn, this is interesting. So, um, that's a good one to know. From back turn, kick, 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 kick. Ooh, look at that. So, here's like a little bit of advice, you know, since I'm using combos from a combo video. I just wrote them down really quickly. Um, a lot of the times in these combo videos, you're gonna see like them doing, for example, uh, so yeah, the combo we just did like this into something like this, right? So a different ender. But in the end, all you need to know is like which one is the most damaging ender. And maybe another one that's like for heavyweights, um, for slopes, you know, if you're going up a slope, you need a little shorter combo. Um, so really when they, when they're just like changing one move in between and the rest is kind of the same, just pick the highest damaging one. You know, like in this case, um, the highest damaging one is actually the one with the punch, right? So it's some kind of punch there. Let's try it again. Ah, uh, wrong one. Um, geez, I'm mixing it all up in my head. That's one, but she's going way lower. If I do this one, one damage less, but a lot more leeway. So I'm gonna use that one. It's just a little. The one damage is neglectable, but the the one with the kick is way safer to use. Is any weird thing might it might still work out while the other one is too close. So anyway, if they in a guide do like a ton of different enders, uh, think about you know combos are really you can you know cut them in 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 parts. Like you have the part until the launcher, 
Even those you can kind of mix up, right? Launch, and then depending on how how on how high you're launching, you can do a combo. Which is probably always going to be the same one, unless you're you're taking in consideration uh, wall carry um, and stuff like that, force uh, attacking, resetting. Stuff like that. Alright, I'm liking this. I'm starting to get the hang of the ender. That's a good thing. So I can, at least when I launch, I can get something out of it. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Ooh. kind of weird I would imagine something you know starting with with this would be better to launch with but... eh, whatever um... So yeah, this is a dangerous move. And that's probably guaranteed, right? Mark my words. That's the fastest mid punch hold. Even fastest. And people generally don't do that. So this is oh my god. That's nasty. So basically if you hit this move, there's literally nothing else you're, you're gonna wanna do other than that. Instantly to maximum crit. Yeah, I've seen this one before. This is one of those things that you know some characters have it. And it's actually good to know. So blocking is plus 15. Now for most characters, if they block a fully charged power blow, you're probably gonna have advantage, but not every character can get a combo off it off of it i mean plus 15 meaning if you have a 14 frame move that can hit before your opponent can react which in this case see it's, she's on block so this is 100 percent Guaranteed. Now, of course, that insinuates they're gonna block this. Uh, it's a little gimmicky because most people see this coming a mile away and just hold it or sidestep it or whatever, you know. But you know, sometimes in the clutch, you might be too scared to do it. 
Now, this is like the ultimate, the ultimate troll, right? Oh, you blocked him? Here, have another one. Carrot. Maximum trolling level. Power blow into combo into guaranteed power blow. Oh. Well, I say guaranteed. With guaranteed, I mean you can hit them. They can block in between. They can, of course, hold. They can do something in between those moves, but still, like, this first hit is free, right? By the time you've done the punch, they barely registered in their head that this is happening. Like, I, I blocked it, how is this hitting me? What? What is going on? So they basically... Unless they're really sharp, only this last hit is gonna matter. You got some mix up potential there. Um. Yeah, here's one that I really want to know. From the throw, the back turn throw. Now, let's see, 6 PP, 9 P, 6 6 P, 6 PP. Okay, that's a nice one. And then the usual... Okay, okay, okay. So, this is this is already a nasty move, right? Another big stun. Very nice. And you would think there's guaranteed stuff off uh, the throw, right? There is. So that's like, if you want to do the throw and you want to go for like, stun game mix up, this is definitely what you can do, something like this. I don't know, right, but I got a little guaranteed combo here as well. And this is literally guaranteed. This is a combo, once you land a throw, it's in the bag. You got this combo free. Oh, it's a it's the launch. So it's curious that this won't hit, but the other thing does. Okay, I was just too slow. So you need to get the timing down. You can buffer a little bit. You know, it's 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 a guaranteed launcher. And that's a combo. Easy, easy to remember. You know, need a little bit of timing to pull it off, but. 
if you're like at the end of the round, right, and you see they're not too hot on health, and you know it might kill. Guaranteed, 62 damage guaranteed. It's not super much, but it's definitely something if you can get it guaranteed. Um, so yeah, and there's a bunch of stuff you can do off this if they... If they like strike you, let's see what is it. Um, punch sixty. Easy peasy. So it's interesting. This does the weird stun. But not always. Right, so that's the thing you can do. Mm, there is a back turned guaranteed combo. If you do the throw back turn, there's not a guaranteed combo. Because, so with the normal one, you end up facing forward, so you need to do a quarter circle backwards punch to launch. But if you're doing it back turn, you're gonna end the back turn as well, so you just need to do back and punch and you get a launcher and it's even a higher launcher so um, but the combo is the same That's an interesting move as well. Again, guaranteed damage. But of course, a little gimmicky. So this move is safe. Minus four. So that's kind of all the combos I had on me right now. 
I still need to look into it a little bit more. Um, there's only so much a man can do in one day. But I think we got a good idea of what she can do and what the game plan is gonna be. So I think definitely the game plan is to throw out all these, you know, safe moves. And if your opponent tries to get in between, punish them for it. Especially with something like this, 12 frames. Still kind of safe, you know. So we'll condition them to expect safe moves. That's like the idea. I mean, and let's not forget, it's it's the, the part of the strategy to use safe moves, right? But they're gonna hit. They are gonna hit at some point. Um, come on. And depending on which ones you do, You know, like something like this. You can definitely get an offensive going. So, even face value, we're gonna get something from it, right? But once they kind of. So they probably will lose a round or two, depending on how stubborn they are. From us just doing safe moves and then just continuing that assault. Until they stop trying to get in between. You know? So then step two of the plan, once they expect us to do safe moves, we'll switch into moves like this. Not all the time, but get them in there, you know? They're technically not safe, but there's little difference. So they're, n unless they're like really sharp, this one is even really safe. Um, But, you know stuff like this uh, because if they hit those are like the, the stuns like the big the big stuns right where you like if you do this one punch you're ready for a critical burst so that's the really dangerous part about Mary Rose especially if it includes a sit down stun right See, that's insane. They got one chance. So that's this is probably the best, the better move. Hmm. So, of course, we gotta watch out with the launchers. Uh, Combo-wise. Though I would like... Actually, to launch at this stage. And do... A combo that's not the, the max damage combo, because... That one's gonna fail. Oh no, it still works. It still works. Good shit. Of course, Ayane, you know, if you're playing Bayman or something, those combos not gonna work, but... Um, so yeah, anyway, that's the idea, right? Get them with the safe moves. Once they expect 
the safe moves, as long as they start blocking a lot, you know, we can get the little risky moves in. So that seems to be the strategy. And of course, if they try to get in between, you know, get him with uh, the parry shit, which in turn again results into, you know, stun situations or even guaranteed combos. Um, man, I already completely forgot the combo of this. Something like that, right? Oh yeah, I remember. That one. So even if they want to get in between, you can easily get in with something like that, right? A lot of options, a lot of options. Yeah, I think we have a basic strategy down. Though, the big thing that needs to come with experience, I think, with this character is just, you know, using her, her moves, right? Her jumping moves and all the movement things because she has a lot and you have this you have this the roll and a lot of it like that you can do during moves So yeah, I think we're definitely not done, but I think I'm ready, um, well not ready, but you know, I, I think I, at this point, um, I need to get match experience in, and not winning matches, but being in a match and seeing um, what moves work, what moves don't try to get a feel for it because training mode is great right Ooh, look at all those stun combos but reality is you need to know which moves work which don't some of these might really suck in reality Um, so that would definitely be the next step. Just get some match experience in, see where the obvious flaws um, in my play are, probably 
not remembering the combos, that's the big one. Uh, you know, finding the right moves, finding some... You know, some fun interactions. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so here's the plan. For today, I'm going to wrap up. Tomorrow, we're going to get into matches. I'll probably uh, do a quick recap of what we've seen today just to refresh, refresh myself. But also, you know, to just quickly um, go over the basics again. You know, like good safe moves and whatever. Now we'll get into matches. And um, we'll see where we're... We're all end up, you know? Combo Vortex is real. All right. Let's wrap this up, shall we? Um, all right, guys. For those who stuck around, I know it might be a bit heavy, a bit boring. Um, but that's what learning sometimes is. Tomorrow we'll get into the fun, into the matches. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed today, and I hope you'll join me tomorrow. Uh, yeah, thank you all for watching, take care, and I'll see you around. Bye!